Now, it is a bridge which connects different worlds, a bridge that an estimated 30,000 children from Haiti cross illegally every single year. And it's a bridge synonymous with drug trafficking, child trafficking, prostitution, organ smuggling and slavery. That then is why for over two months now, Haiti has upgraded its police force with 120 officers deployed to secure the border with the Dominican Republic. Well, Lord Philippon and Yuka Roya report for France 24. This bridge over the Massacre River connects two very different worlds. The border crossing between Haiti and the Dominican Republic offers a free trade zone for people from both sides. Twice a week, the gates open to a common market area located on the Dominican side, and thousands of Haitians flood the bridge as they set out to trade goods. The Haitian border police seem overwhelmed with the influx of people. <laughs> See, this is so chaotic. People cross everywhere. And the major problem is that there are so many, we can't control them. On the Haitian side, we can't control them. And on the Dominican side, it's the same issue. The porous border is also the crossing point for all sorts of illegal trafficking. Authorities pay particular attention to minors crossing the bridge. There are around 400,000 young workers in Haiti. And at the border, the children face many dangers. Those kids are forced to deal illegal goods. For example, the shoeshine boys traffic drugs or they deal arms. They often suffer all sorts of assault and violence from their colleagues as well as gang members. To protect the children, Robert keeps an eye out for any suspicious behavior, like this teenager who seems lost surrounded by older men. He suspects they're smugglers. When you see a child traveling with adults who are not his parents, there's a risk he's being smuggled. My parents went across the border. They told me to wait here. Go and find his mom. I want to interrogate her. Both men are promptly released when the boy's parents arrive. It turns out the child simply got lost. I'm here to understand why your child was at the border. My job is to make sure no kids are taken by force. Yes, I've heard about what is happening at the border. I've heard that children are being killed for their organs. I heard about human trafficking. I understand your job, but I just want to get to my work in the Dominican Republic with my family. The family does not have valid papers, but the role of this agent is only to make sure that the child is out of danger. West of the bridge, the children of Wanamintis Street are attractive targets. Some are stolen from their families, others sold to smugglers, who take them to Dihabon on the other side of the border. We made it into the Dominican Republic without crossing a single checkpoint. Here, young girls are particularly vulnerable. Deep in Barrio Sur, we found a brothel. Do you have girls who work here who are under 18? Girls aged 16 or 17, for example? Yes, but they are all out at the moment. How old are you? I'm 17. I mean, 18. I haven't been here for very long. I was in Wanaminte before. After losing her parents, this young Haitian girl arrived in the neighboring country alone. She has since been working in this brothel and is now pregnant. There are a lot of children under 18 working here. You see how the doors are closed. It's because during the day they work elsewhere, but at night they all come here. They're prostitutes and sex workers. Here you can see the bedrooms. The door is closed and this one is too. Prostitution is legal in the Dominican Republic. Exploiting children, however, is punishable by 30 years in prison.
but the sentence is rarely applied. Young Haitians found here are simply sent back. While waiting to be reunited with the families, they stay here in the St. John's Sisters Centre in Duanaminte, a few minutes away from the bridge of the Massacre River. Bon appétit pour tout le monde. Merci. Sister Alexandra is from Colombia. She takes care of around 30 children, all with atrocious stories to tell. These young girls were working as slaves for Dominican families. And this young boy suffered a head injury in a street fight. Can you talk? Why? Hmm? What happened to you? Here, the children are provided with warm meals, playgrounds and proper beds to sleep in. This home is a safe haven for young boys and girls. Their everyday life has been so difficult. We can see how in a few weeks children change here. It's because they feel free and in security, and also because they can play and become kids again. Since the January 2010 earthquake, some 4,000 Haitian miners have been found along the border bridge. Tens of thousands are still believed to be exploited in the Dominican Republic. Lord Philippon there with uh, that report for today's Focus.